So today we're going to be touring my closet and showing you how I organize it. We'll start with shoes. I have a pair of cleats for soccer, basketball shoes for basketball, a pair of sandals, black cap toe oxfords, two pairs of white sneakers, which yes I know is not minimal. The first pair is a pair of Common Projects b-ball lows, and the second pair is a pair of Oliver Cabels that I've been wear testing. For everyone asking, they are holding up well and I would still recommend them as a Common Projects alternative. Finally, I have two pairs of boots, one in suede, the Clark Desert boot, and one in a heavier leather, the Red Wing 875 boot. I store my shoes in these clear drop front shoe boxes that I keep on the top shelf of my closet. These are great because they are completely modular and can be customized to fit your needs. I keep everything but my larger boots in these since they won't fit, so I just put them on top. Outside of my closet, I also keep a pair of trainers by the door for quick errands and I also have a pair of weightlifting shoes that I keep in my gym bag. In my closet, I have a set of drawers that my fiance and I share. I occupy the two drawers to the left. In the top drawer, I use one 11x5 and two 11x11 scub drawer organizers from Ikea. In the first organizer, I keep my boxer briefs. Next to that, I keep my t-shirts, two white, four gray, and two navy. The last thing I keep in the top drawer is my chinos and trousers. I have three pairs of chinos, olive, navy, and black. For trousers, I have a pair of navy suit trousers and a pair of wool flannel trousers for colder days. In the second drawer, I use the same organizers, but this time I use three 11x5s and one 11x11 organizer. The first three organizers I use for socks. In the first organizer, I keep my low cut socks, which I don't bother folding since they require more effort to fold than they're worth. Next to that, I keep my gray crew cut socks. Then finally, for colder weather, I have a couple pair of thicker wool socks. The last thing I keep in this drawer is denim and shorts. Don't ask me why I choose to organize things this way. For whatever reason, it makes sense to me. For denim, I have two pairs of APC Petite New Standards, one in indigo and one in a light stone wash, which were both purchased secondhand. Behind those, I keep my two pairs of shorts in navy and khaki. Moving on to the main section of the closet, we will start with formal wear. I have a navy suit jacket and two dress shirts, one in light blue and one in white. Next, I have the workhorses of my wardrobe, Oxford button downs. I have one in forest green, dark navy, stonewashed denim, light blue, gray, and white. For warmer days in the office, I also have three polos in navy, gray, and white. For outerwear, I have an olive overshirt, a denim jacket that I also picked up secondhand, and a Harrington jacket. I also like to hang my hoodie since I can never seem to fold it right. Finally, for heavier jackets, I have a wool overshirt in navy and a wool overcoat in gray, which was also another secondhand purchase. Outside of the closet, I also use this sideboard. In here, I keep my sweaters and workout gear. For sweaters, I have a gray loop back, a navy merino wool crew neck, a chunky navy lambs wool sweater, and finally, a shawl neck sweater and oatmeal. Below the sweaters, I also have one 11x11 scub where I keep my workout shorts, shirts, and compression socks. The last thing I keep in the sideboard is a pair of black sweatpants. Lastly, we have accessories. I have two watches that I keep on my nightstand, a Rolex Mariner and a Timex Marlin. In the bottom drawer of my nightstand, I store the rest of my accessories. I keep my ties, pocket squares, beanies, and belts in the remaining 5x5 organizers from the IKEA Scub set. Final thing I keep in the drawer are my two scarves, one in gray and one in navy. To be clear, I've accumulated all of these things over many years, with some pieces being many seasons old. To keep my wardrobe neat and organized, when I shop, I shop with a one-in, one-out mindset. I keep a set amount of hangers and organizers, so if I buy something, it has to be able to replace a piece in my wardrobe since I have a limited amount of storage. This mindset keeps me honest and often prevents me from buying something I do not need. I also like to buy things secondhand when I can as it's a more sustainable way of shopping and you can save some money while you're at it. I hope you enjoyed this closet tour. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.